Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to this pick a card. So, you know, this title of this pick a card is going to be about who is thinking about you right now. So, who is, you know, just thinking about you. So, um, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So, it's kind of best to take what resonates with you, okay? So, um, if you guys haven't viewed the pick a card selection, I would recommend going back to my video, the last one. It's a pick a card, okay? It shows all the section on how to pick a card, okay? Or if you don't want to do that, just pick a number between one and four, okay? And whatever number that you feel that resonates with you, go ahead and pick it, okay? So yeah, one and four, and choose whatever you feel that's drawn to you, one and four, okay? So um, but without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So um, yes, if you if you'd like to look at the cards, Please go at the look at the last video, okay? It's the who is thinking about you, pick a pile, okay? So we're gonna start with pile number one. Okay, so pile number one, I definitely feel that um, who is thinking about you is um, definitely a wealthy man, okay? So um, <laughs> this is a lot of different energy, okay? Because this person, they want to give you financial abundance, okay? It's weird, but it's like weird because like this person, <laughs> they're like a spirit guide that has watched over you in the higher realms and they're here in the physical realm and they're waiting for you to, what is it that they want you to do? It's not very clear. What it, okay, so they want to give something to you. I think you've been getting him in your readings all the time. Okay, yeah. This is like an air sign quality, but it's like a person that's to himself, but he's a very like rough personality emperor. So this man, he's been watching over you, okay? So this person that's thinking, oh my God, okay, I just concluded. <laughs> what the hell this person's kind of like a little psycho but it's not in a bad way like don't get scared so pile number one the person who's thinking about you is this person feels intuitively that you're going to be near somebody okay like they have this, like it's weird so they don't even know you <laughs> but they watch you and they feel like you are the person that will be with somebody that they know okay and so this person they're watching you and they're waiting for it so it's funny is they know i'm sorry i have to pull a card okay <laughs> oh my god queen of swords i don't know maybe you're approaching a female <laughs> this person this is so funny and creepy i love it ace of swords so this person they don't even know you <laughs> but they feel intuitively that you're gonna come into their life and this person wants to give you a house okay so this person they want to give you what else so they know that you're from far away okay so it's like this person is so strange so it's like god told them from the higher realm that you are going to travel to meet a person and so okay that's what's gonna happen okay in your future and i feel like you know this already so basically the person that you're going to be with or just whatever connection you have with them take what resonates right i feel like this is a relationship you are going to meet a wealthy man and this person is just gonna give to you out of nowhere okay so that's who's thinking about you it's funny because the person it's like they know and so they're just getting ready for you to land and for them to give you and they want to give you money <laughs> i'm sorry guys that was so weird but yeah it's like this person they know that you're coming in <laughs> like they watch in the shadows they watch your page and they like they ask god it's like god told them that you were coming though so don't be overwhelmed no you're not overwhelmed you're like oh, oh fuck like whatever i'm gonna accept it but yeah so that's who's thinking about you as a wealthy man and he's going to give to you okay like this person they've been watching you for a long time <laughs> so if that resonates with you go ahead and give me a like comment subscribe we're gonna move on to pile number two so um we have 
pile number two. So pile number two, this is definitely um, a Libra air sign. Okay, I feel like you intuitively know that this person thinks about you, okay? But there is times where you get mixed signals. Let's talk about this. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> this is really cute. Okay. So what's funny is like, your head is running pretty thick like, like your mind is like yeah see with the four of pentacles you're really insecure well you're not really insecure you're working towards um your healing your securities insecurities right you're working on it and so you feel that like maybe this person's in and out because like so for instance there'll be days where they'll like talk to you and they'll be really like sweet and then they'll be like they don't talk at all and so like you're trying to think trying to understand like why do you do that and so what i think you're thinking here is that you might okay so you're thinking that so because i'm seeing two males okay so um your ancestors told you that this woman has like very high protectors like in the family like she has um, two men that protect her and that's true and so you're kind of in despair about it because you're like well I don't know if I can get through these protectors because I might not feel good enough I might not feel all these other things okay but let's see what we feel like what is the situation um, behind this okay okay so um, well we need to talk about this libra that thinks about you first okay so um well actually well let's clear it out okay so first of all there is no um real well kind of yes and no it's just what you have to do is um i'll provide advice later on okay but let's talk about this libra okay so yes this libra they think about you a lot as a matter of fact they love you um however they do not show how they feel okay so you want to give them something okay so you want to give them the will of fortune so you want to give them marriage okay with the with the higher fan okay and so this person they want to marry you too um they think about you a lot okay every day they wake up so even if this person like may not show that they care like um i think that's what's been kind of bothering you lately is you're like you know this is like a little angel that kind of she comes in you know or they come in um when i'm needed when it's needed and then like she disappears to somewhere else and it doesn't make sense to me and so you're a little confused because um you're really in love with this person but you um it cry makes you cry actually i think you've been crying a lot it's okay you're human right so you've been crying because you've been frustrated because you just want to have her attention you really do and you probably do things for her attention too and which is really cute um from what the um higher self of this person's coming in um and they do notice um they do notice that you're trying to get their attention and they do love your work okay whatever you do um content wise or whatever it is you do they really admire you okay so understand that they they watch all of your stuff and you know that because your ancestors told you so um yes they are very um they think about you a lot um part of why they don't talk to you though um and i think you know already is because um they they talk to your higher self a lot okay so um this woman is very spiritually in tune so she's not very talkative with you because she is you are entering something in your life of endings you have ended something in your life lately okay some kind of huge cycle just got broken and so she has been allowing you um your higher self told her to give yourself room to kind of understand who you are and all these other things because she likes you and all she does it's just what she's been doing lately 
is giving you room. So it's not that she doesn't like you or that she doesn't want to be with you. She does. It's just um, your higher self told her that you need to have a little room away. Okay. And so, um, yeah, she does think about other things too. But, you know, you, you leave that up to your imagination. But um, anyways, um, yeah, you're not in despair anymore because you at least got the clarity. But yes, this Libra does think about you. Okay, so understand there's nothing in the way. There is no overprotective family. Well, they, they're they a little bit weird at first, obviously. But I'm hearing in this lifetime, because I feel like in other past lives, they act up a little bit. <laughs> so I think that you're worried about that. You're like, oh my god. Like, like I don't know if they'll even like me. They don't care. They're like, um, you have to understand that with this woman, she's worked on so much self-love that... Um, they know that she'll bring the right person towards her and they will trust that so um what is um there's nothing to worry about with this family okay um they are just goofy interesting individuals from what um i'm hearing okay they're um they say um spirit says that if you your ancestor says the key to get through them is to just laugh at all their jokes okay it doesn't make any sense but if you just sit down with them, especially the, the older brother, okay? Because she's got an older brother is what I'm hearing. You just sit down with them and he'll get along. He's a water sign, okay? I feel like for some odd reason, since he's a water sign, you're going to get along a little bit too much together, okay? Probably like Best Friends Step Brothers movie, okay? <laughs> That's what I heard from the ancestor. That's cute. So he said, if you're scared of the big brother, you're going to become best friends with him. <laughs> You're going to be building bunk beds with them. Is that what I hear? Okay. Well. <laughs> All right, ancestor. <laughs> this is funny as shit. I don't know what is wrong. Why did that message come through? You ancestors are funny that, that come through. Um, <laughs> you're, so, yeah. Um, that's just thinking about you, my dear. Um, my advice is, is, yeah. So, so you know, since she's not talking to you she's just giving you space to heal um but you are done you are near completion so um she will be coming in or you will be coming in i think you will be coming in with a message so they say to make an approach to her um ask her how her day was so the ancestors recommend that maybe communicate with her a little bit and say hey you know i haven't heard from you how you're doing and then you could kind of make a little bit of a move from there so um other than that you know oh she always worries about you too that's another thing that you need to know about this woman is that she always worries about you okay so understand this woman she's very to herself she you already know that already she's like a loner she does not like want to talk to anybody she's always in her own lane and she lives her own life and that's just really cute so um you know just know that when she doesn't respond she's probably just in her own stuff she does her own thing um she works a lot too that's what I hear is she works a lot to where she's just too tired to even talk to people. So, um, you know, it's not only that of why she's giving space to heal, but she just, she works so much that she's tired. She doesn't have time to rest. Um, the only time she has is to create whatever she wants to create in her life. She doesn't have time for herself, honey. And so, um, that's when you come in her life to give her a break in life because she's been working really hard throughout her life and she's young too she's young and you know um make sure you take care of her because the ancestors say that she could face health problems if she's um if she's working too hard okay because that woman works way too hard as the ancestor says okay one of them oh no they, they say they say no she just she's she's young she could she could do it no but she in all reality, um, do make sure you take care of her because um, this is a woman that really does overwork herself. And she's um, she's she's an air sign, okay? I think intuitively, I believe this is air sign coming in. So understand that this air sign, she's a person that just works all the time. She doesn't, she, she works the late shift, she works the morning shift. She's all over the place. And so... Um, you know, and she does that, and she does other things. I think she does, she does something to money-wise, okay? And she's trying to bring stability for herself. 
Sw so, sweetie, this is what the answer says. Um, answers are coming through. Please take good care of her. Please, you know, and as soon as you're with her, just take care of her and, and don't let her work again or, or do something. Don't let her work anymore. <laughs> they say, whatever you do, like she she's she's worked too hard for the planet and done too much for everybody that she needs to have a break. So yeah, this is the answer to saying. They're saying, you please take care of her and let her rest. <laughs> so um, what is the, well, how do we, I'm just gonna close up this reading. So yeah, that's who's thinking about you, my dear. And um, know that there's nothing to worry about with this lady. She's gonna be coming in with an offer, okay, sweetie? Or, or you are, okay, I don't know. It's gonna be either one. But um, yes, as soon as you finish your, um, getting your rest, get your rest tonight, um, get ready to give her an offer in love, okay? Or for you both to communicate or make something serious, okay? Oh, and I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to make you sad about how hard she worked. And yes, that's true. That That's just your answer to saying, come to it. Yes, this woman, she just works too hard. And she she really needs a break in her life, okay? She's She's been working. Even, um, even the big brother says, he says, he just, you know, he says, she is just too cute and sweet to work that she just needs a man to fucking take care of her, okay? To let her do whatever the fuck she wants because, yeah, she's, he says, he says, the older brother coming, he's channeling through his higher self. He says, yeah, please take her in, brother, because she works too hard and it worries me. <laughs> that is too cute. He says, yeah. He says, I'll take care of her with you if I have to. <laughs> That's cute. So, if that resonated with you, my dear, please give me a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, so, oh, oops, not like, comment, subscribe. You can't comment yet because I haven't turned off. Until the planet ascends, I'll turn the comments on. But I'm going to move on to um, pile three. So, um, pile three. So those of you that chose um, pound number three, this is your reading. So oof, okay, this is interesting. So like I don't know why, but I feel like this is a family member that's coming in. Okay? I feel like you've asserted your boundaries with people in your life. And so there's a lot of people who okay so this is definitely a person that's in their head or it's multiple people so i understand there's a lot of people ta talking about you like you know like that you've changed or you're just not the same person but it's because you're standing up for yourself you're finally saying okay well i don't want people to fuck with me no more and so people um they're just talking and thinking about how like you're kind of an asshole like you've turned into like this big old asshole and you're not the same person but you're only doing it because you're just trying to protect yourself um and it's because you're connecting to your higher self your true self and so you know people right now are just thinking you're kind of an asshole right now like you're kind of oh like you know you're an asshole for standing up for yourself that makes no sense okay um there's another person that um is coming in the feminine and um this is a person that really loves you okay and i feel like this person they're going to um really help you a lot in your life okay so that i feel like this is gonna be this is your true love okay so toil and labor so yeah like people are like fucked up okay so there's like a bunch of people i don't know who the fuck you put a nail in the coffin with but i'm telling you um or whatever the business is people just think you're fucking jerk right now they just think you're a fucking asshole but understand that i teach tell people this shit all the time you know, it's not a bad thing to be a bad guy, especially when you stand up for yourself, okay? So understand that, oh yeah, high honor. Like I said, it's like you're calling the shots. So you see what this video, this, 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 this picture? So you're calling the shots and you're finally saying, fuck these people. Like if people don't like me for me or talking shit behind my back or whatever the business is, like you're just connecting to your higher self. And you know what's crazy is like, you know, you already know what happens when you connect to your higher self, some shit happens. So yeah, that's what's thinking about you. Um, is it four? Um, let me know if that resonates with you. But yeah, um, people just think you're an asshole, but hey, um, understand that what you're doing is, you're doing the right thing. And also um, 
for narcissistic exes, they think about you too, and they think how much you're an asshole, but it's like, you were always doing the right thing, sweetheart. So understand you're doing the right thing. So let's move on to the last pile, okay? Mm. Oh. Well, this is very different, okay? Ugh, this is like a lot of energy, last pile. Okay, so. Oof. Sorry, but I just got the shivers right now. Who is this person? Who is this person? Okay. Um. A family member or I don't know this is two different energies so there's one energy there's two different energies <laughs> um this is a person that has passed and they see you getting married in the future okay and they want to say that they're happy for you from up above this is a person that I think feel that passed in your life they want to do that they they're proud of you um if it's not that this is for another person. Um, they're saying that you're going to get married. Okay, they're saying that marriage is coming and then they see it. Okay, um, it's weird because I've, I'm getting like a person that's past who's thinking about you. Okay, so somebody that watches over you in the spirit realm. And um, they're trying to communicate that they're proud of you. Because you've just ended a really highly toxic cycle. Like, you've healed the karmic line. Like, you've cut karmic, like, the ancestral lineage, and you've cleared it fully. And so, um, this is the person that's past that's thinking about you. Crazy, right? Wow. And, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know why, <laughs> but, um, somebody, and I feel like it scares you a little bit, you're like, oh, how the fuck does this person know? <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Just calm down, my dear. Um, your twin flame's older brother, <laughs> they, they think about you. <laughs> They don't know you, but they know. No, they do know you. <laughs> and um, they know that you're going to get married to them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucking funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear. But yeah, that's who's thinking about you. Is um, The Twin Flames' older brother is thinking about you. <laughs> and um, they're excited for you to get married to them. <laughs> So that's what I have for you. If that resonated with you, go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe.